to the IUCR Standing Committee on Data, which I'm um, chairman, is a new uh, committee, but the traditions within the IUCR with respect to data are long-standing. Um, very important milestones, 1991, the crystallographic information framework. That led to, in 1998, the opportunity to introduce the CHECSIF, another very vital milestone. Now, in 2011, President Sine Larsen for the ICR commissioned a working group, the Diffraction State of Deposition Working Group, to look at the possibilities for raw diffraction data archive, the primary data. So at that point, we are at the experiments. Um, this is a really important milestone because of the initiatives outside our domain with respect to archiving. The digital archive and their capacities have expanded enormously. So, the working group was charged with looking into the possibilities of that and whether we needed to do that. In effect, the hows, the whys, and the whats of raw data archive. And we deliberated for six years and presented a final report uh, in Hyderabad, uh, concluding that it was a great opportunity, revolutionary opportunity, <coughs> and the crystallographic community should really seize that opportunity. All that work led to the realisation that actually over the decades a number of different committees involved with data partly should be resurrected, but mainly because of the uh, raw data opportunities we should have a standing committee on data. It was too important to not have body to which all the individual commissions could turn, if they wish, for assistance on these new opportunities. And also, the vital importance of the databases. We're approaching one million crystal structures in the Cambridge Structure Database, initiated by Ben Al and Olga Kennard, and Olga Kennard's leadership over many decades. I was in email contact with Olga Kennard, a month ago, and the Protein Data Bank with 150,000 depositions through the leadership for many years of Helen Berman and now Stephen Burley. So the bringing together of all of these strands within a quite simple sentence for the terms of reference, there are more details and bullet points at the website. The Committee on Data, PONDAS, will advise the IUCR Executive Committee on all aspects of data with respect to policy and actions to be taken. If we think of our data as a zoo, what do we have? We have our raw measurements. So at the top right we have an example raw diffraction data pattern. And then we process that data. And so, at the middle layer, we have our process structure factors. And finally, we derive our structural information. So I'm deliberately using keywords here, raw, processed, and derived, because they are then generic terms which other scientific disciplines also relate to. So in representing the IUCR of the International Council for Science Committee on Data, where I meet particle physicists, astronomers, and so on. Other community areas that are leading with respect to data and the trust in their data. These are terminologies which we all understand. And of course, as a part of this, each one of these domains, the raw, the processed, and the derived, requires careful metadata recording because the metadata, the data about our data, is absolutely vital if we are to proceed to use it productively and also to reuse it. 
Because at the heart of reuse of data is reproducibility. And we're aware, read in nature and so on, of worries of irreproducibility in areas like psychology and so on. These are really major concerns of society. And a big change is the merger of the International Council of Scientific Unions and the International Council of Social Sciences, which took place last year to form the International Science Council. Now, the big data pyramid is shown here, and it illustrates with our coordinates, the derived data, our files were kilobytes and not are kilobytes. Our process intensity is in megabytes, and we've always taken the opportunities that the technology gives us to preserve what we can. So we started by preserving coordinates, and then we extended that to intensities. And at the base of this pyramid are our diffract primary diffraction data, the raw data, which are now gigabytes or even terabytes. The heart of what we're doing as scientists move closer and closer to objectivity. Objectivity itself is possible through the raw data. And that is a very vital transformation, which I think is a revolution, even for our science, where we put great store on data. <clears throat> As scientists, it's the element of trust that is so important. Anything that undermines trust undermines confidence of society and the funding agencies in funding us. So we have achieved trust in data transmission and exchange through the crystallographic information file. Trust in data consistency through the CHECSIF, firstly for coordinates and then extended to include structure factors. And the data provenance and the opportunities and the discussions within the diffraction data deposition working group in those six years. And this simple title, The Sciences in the Data, which is the title that Gautam Zaraju, the most recent president before Sven, lit in, gave me for my keynote, and which led to the article at the bottom of the slide here, published in IUCRJ. The traditions of IUCR have been recognised through awards. So I led the nomination for IUCR to receive the Association of Learned and Professional Society Publishers Award in 2006. And here you see in the picture Brian McMahon, an expert within the IUCR headquarters in Chester in data R&D and in crystallographic information file. 2014 was the International Year of Crystallography. As the representative to CoData, it was obvious to me that with a good nomination, we could seek the award of the CoData Prize. So with a worldwide set of letters of support, the nomination was successful for Sid Hall from Perth to receive the CoData Prize 2014. The implementation and evolution of the star SIF ontologies, interoperability and preservation of structured data. That's the article that came from SIF's prize, and here is SIF receiving the award in New Delhi at the biannual CoData Congress. Crystallography and crystallographers are recognized by all scientific communities for the work that we do and the work and trust that people have in our data. But it's not only the scientists. This European Union report, 2018, turning fair into reality, that data should be findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, recognized crystallography, the International Union of Crystallography, for the many data standards that are maintained successfully by the Union and by the community and the commissions by you. So for uh, you, the take-home message is that the IUCR maintains the need for the highest quality of data management at all stages, from the experimental data collection through deduction and analysis 
the publication and database reposition. It is important 